motorcycle because I'm going to take this thing on a motorcycle ride up to Kern River this weekend and make a whole YouTube video about it. So I want to show you guys what I'm riding before I do that. This is my 2002 Harley Davidson Sportster. Originally it was an 883 motor, but the previous owner changed the motor to be a 12 this bike is quite fast. It's a rigid frame. It was an original stock Harley frame, um, but when I bought this bike, it came with the frame already chopped, the tank already chromed, and the motor already honed out, and then it came with this Makuni carb as well. This bike for about four years, and the first year that I had it, it was totally just remaking it into my own motorcycle. Uh, I'll put some photos in here of what it used to look like with the previous owners and since I posted it on Instagram I've had all these different owners show me what it looked like when they owned it. So this is what it looks like in my version and this bike was also used in Beyonce's Vogue shoot last year to promote her tour and Beyonce literally sat on this thing so and I was there it was crazy but anyways, I'm going to tell you guys just a little bit about this bike because I get a lot of questions and if you have any more questions about things I have on this bike, uh, just make a comment and I'll answer you. So one big question I have is how many inches over is the front end? And I think it's about four. Stock front end that was raised up a little bit. This is um, a lowbrow wheel that I put on the front of it. Uh, oil gauge here on the motor the previous owner put this on because he thought that this motor was having issues but in reality his oil bag just couldn't hold enough oil so that's why he sold it to me for two thousand dollars <laughs> sorry buddy so I put a different oil bag on it bag actually this side of it is fake so all of my electrical and my coil is behind here and it's actually just a half oil bag so on the other side is the oil tank and then on this side is just my electrical that's hidden behind this chrome piece which was a, a really smart idea on Cody's part who helped me build this bike shout out hog supply in downtown LA um, this is my ever famous dick kicker pedal. I know it is a peg now, but I originally made this piece on this bike as a kicker pedal for my pan head and I casted this dick out of the original pistons that were in my pan head motor when I bought it. So fun fact, but it hurt my foot when I was kicking it. So now it is a peg on my Sportster. Now you know, the more you know. Um, some other little details, these bars are from Prism. Uh, this mirror is from Biltwell. Um, I had this bag made by Jason Lee, a local LA guy. This is where I keep all of my tools. I have a brand new Dunlop K70 tire on this thing. Just ready, ready to roll for our trip this weekend. Sprocket on this bike just last weekend as well as a new rotor and a new chain to get us ready for this trip because My bike was a little bit out of line. So now um, We're all fixed up. These pipes are custom by hog supply in downtown LA. He made these specifically for this bike Really awesome job he did with these. I have ridden the shit out of this bike. So you know, this is what pipes look like when you actually ride your chopper. Um, so don't hate on me for having blue pipes. This is what happens. This fender from Lowbrow, I helped Cody bend this sissy bar. So that was one of my first experiences with doing something like that. And I took all of those pieces to a chromer in LA and had them chromed, I think along with the bars and a couple other pieces on this bike and it was pretty cheap i think it was around like 450 dollars to have that all done so i know a lot of people think that having a chrome bike is really crazy expensive but compare that to a paint job it's not that bad um and the seat was done locally in la as well this seat was reupholstered in la just at a local upholstery shop it wasn't even a motorcycle seat store. It's, it's a little bit more gushy because I actually ride my bike again. So the back seat is not usable. I don't have any pegs on it and someone's ass would get melted. So 
some little accessory details. I have this gas cap that's a resined wolf spider. It was made by... Can <laughs> I do that again? <laughs> This gas cap was made by Frank Vicious Cycles. <laughs> he uh, is a local L LA guy as well. This cute bag, you may be wondering, oh my gosh, where can I get that from? This was made by me and Allie here at Axel Co. Show the inside. Oh, yes, you wanna see the inside? Hopefully I don't have anything illegal in here. There's some flamies, some baby wipes for my butt. <laughs> um, you need one of these. Looks like kind of cool. Yeah, I know. A little velvet uh, koozie. Got a little rag in case I get too much oil on my hands. Yes, um, you can buy these at actuallytexel.com. <laughs> Another <laughs> little cute thing I have on here is my um, valve covers that we make here at Axel Co. <laughs> cute. Yes, very cute. Um, and uh, a points cover that we made over at Hog Supply. This is also sand casted with the Axel Co logo, nobody's old lady on it. Um, these are also available at my website, so come check it out. I feel like I look at this bike so often that I can't remember all the things that we've done to it over the years, but we're about to go on a couple hundred mile ride with the girls up to Kern River. We have a campsite up there. All the other girls are on rigid choppers as well. So we do a trip every single year and our Kern ride is kind of replicating our first ride that we ever did together. Um, one of the girls we ride with, Melissa Moldy Goldies, she had a photo of her grandpa on her fridge uh, before he died and we wanted to go find out where this spot was where he was sitting in the photo. It had train tracks in the background and we ended up going on this really cool adventure and ended up in Tehachapi, California on this really cool road with um, all these windmills and we never knew where that road was again because I wasn't from California, those girls weren't from California and over the years uh, I have now lived in California and found where this road was and we're going to go back and do the ride again and end up in Kern River and spend some time up there. So we're gonna be doing a video about that ride. So stay tuned. I'm trying to do YouTube more, even though it's a little bit unnatural for me and I'm just trying to, you know, get away from just Instagram and TikTok. But if you don't follow me on those, that's where I post most of my stuff. So welcome to my channel and I'll see you guys around here a little bit more. Bye, my bike.